Hi everyone, welcome to Verbling. Uh, I'm back. I was just teaching a class on kitchen vocabulary in the last hour, and now I'm back for another hour. We are going to be uh, learning about Paris. Yay! So um, every Wednesday at this time, I uh, have scheduled an hour to talk about different metropolitan cities all around the world. So last week, we covered London, England. And the week before, we covered my hometown of Toronto, Canada. And today, we are going to talk about Paris uh, in France. And from what I'm reading in the comments, apparently, this class is fully booked. Hello. Pretty impressed. Hi. Hi, Essen. Hi. How are you, ma'am? I'm fine. How are you? I'm also fine. You, you seem pretty excited to be here. Is this your first time on Verbling? Yes, uh, it's my first time. On, on Verbling? That's awesome. So welcome. It's nice of you to join us. We also have Chica. Chica. Hello. Can you hear us? Ooh, OK. So for all those who are new, you are going to be muted the first time, OK? So here, let me show you how to unmute yourself. So this is a microphone. You need to press that to unmute yourself, OK? Because you're muted. Everybody is going to be muted right now. You need to press it to unmute yourself, OK? Um, OK. Yeah. So we have Chitan and we have Mario. Mario, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, are you? Have, how have you been? Oh, so a lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> um, so welcome back. It's really nice for you to join us. Yes, and we, it's very really nice to see you too. And yeah. we also have Arnis. Hi, Arnis. Ooh, Arnis, how do you say your last name? Oh, so everybody is muted. Everybody needs to press the microphone button on top to unmute themselves, OK? So there's a microphone icon on top. You need to press that, and then that will unmute you. OK, so right here. All right, guys? For everybody who's new, I okay. can see there's lots of new students in class. So I'm going to say Arnis, Arnis, and Chitan, and everybody else knows what's going on. So Arnis and Chitan, here, look at my screen and press this microphone button. And this will unmute you, because right now you are muted, and we cannot hear anything that you are saying. No. Oh, Jarno's in. Jarno's like, yes. Guys, there's actually one more spot, and David took it. <laughs> OK, so Norbert's here. Uh, Jarno's here. Ismail, Ahmad, Hamid. No. Man, you guys need to like tell me how you do this. <laughs> it is our secret, Tina. Hush. It's, it's no secret. Tell me. I demand it. <laughs> okay. We are pissed. We are pissed. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's yeah, like, it's it's like course. We, it's, we it's still like, course and yeah. yeah. <laughs> so could we have Eduardo? We have Yuri. Yuri, you should have made a reservation. Ah, you're in the premium account user. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone. Um, this is a speaking class, and we are going to be learning about Paris in France. Yeah. Oh my god, la langue de l'amour, language of love for all those who don't speak French. All right, uh, and we are going to speak about some of the major attractions in Paris. If any of us have been to Paris, I would love, love to see your pictures and hear your stories from what you did and what you oh. saw. Ooh. And yeah, has anybody been to Paris? No? Not yet. Not yet? No. I'm, no. I'm in Paris. Unfortunately. <laughs> I like Norbert's answer of not yet. Like, just because I ain't been yet doesn't mean I'm not going to go in the future. <laughs> so, Norbert, good. That's a that's good way to look forward to the future. OK. I have actually been to Paris. So, so just, <laughs> I'm living in Paris. <gasps> OK. This class is going to be taught, Mario. I am not, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Mario is going to teach this class no, and tell no, us no, about no. Paris. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. So you can tell us all the uh, all the fancy places and all the you know hidden treasures. Everybody knows mm -hmm. what a hidden treasure is. 
hidden treasures. So hidden no treasures, treasures, hidden treasures are places that nobody knows of, and it's oh. like when you discover it, it's like, oh, this is so beautiful. How did I not know about it? <laughs> so Mario can tell us about all the hidden treasures in Paris. <laughs> so I've actually been to Paris when I was very young. I was like seven years old, so I remember very, very little. And I was with my parents, so it wasn't really that fun. <laughs> so hopefully I will change that sometime in the future and go by myself backpacking. Okay, so let's start. Uh, this is a speaking class. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through. Everybody is going to introduce themselves, say their name, say where they're from, and say one thing that they would like to see in France. It doesn't have to be in Paris. If you know anything about France and you're like, I always wanted to go to France to see this thing, then uh, go ahead and tell us about that. And then we'll start talking about Paris. So I'll start. Welcome, everyone. My name is Henna. I'm sorry I'm a little heat stroked today, which is why I'm not in the office. I am in the lobby of my home. There's no noise. You guys can hear me perfectly, yes, right? It's okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the laundry machine was on earlier. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I am from Canada. Right now, I am in San Francisco, and I would like to go to Mario. Am I saying this right? Cannes. Cannes. Ah, uh, Cannes. Yes. Cannes. Yeah. So yeah. I would like to go to Cannes Film Festival. Film Festival. Yes. So oh, really? that is, yeah, that is one of the biggest film festivals in the world, and it happens in the south of France. And it's just beautiful people and beautiful scenery, and I would love to go see that in, in France sometime in the future. Okay, so let's start with Yurslav. 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 Yarek, Yarek, go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, introduce uh, yourself. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. my name is Yaroslav. I am from Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I have never been in Paris and in France, uh, but about what I, uh, what I want to see is maybe Eiffel Tower, um, Disneyland, and girls. <laughs> oh, yeah, the girls. That's right. Thank you so much, Yarek, and welcome. I'm so glad you got into class. Uh, next, we have Norbert. Hi guys, I am Norbert from Hungary, and I would like to see the French Riviera. Ooh, the French Riviera, that is, uh, that is a good choice. Thanks, Norbert. Uh, Mario, you live in France, but I'm sure there is at least one thing you haven't seen. At least one. That's what I want to know. What do you want to see? Oh, I, I did not go to the Eiffel Tower, for example. <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> Because uh, oh. I, I, I see the, the Eiffel Tower every day, but I didn't, oh. have, uh, I didn't have the feeling to get uh, to get high to things like this. But it's uh, at night; it's very beautiful. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you live in Paris, and you haven't been to the Eiffel Tower. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not judging you or anything, Mario. <laughs> okay, well... But, um, but, you know, there's a lot of people around the Eiffel Tower because you have a, a bridge and a park, you know, so you can have a picnic and see a lot of people. And uh, it's uh, it's uh, great to, to be around. Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, and it, it looks really beautiful in the movies. <laughs> that's awesome. Thanks, Mario. I hope you get to go really soon before I do. Like, I don't even live in France, and I've like been to the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Uh, next, we have Jarno. Hello, I'm Jarno from Finland, and I have never been to Paris, mm -hmm. but I would like to go there, and I speak a little bit. Uh, friends, ooh, ooh, only uh -huh. only a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, just, just, just a smidgen. A bit. So, what would yeah. you what, what would you like to see when you go there? Um, I think uh, Eiffel Tower. I would okay. like to see that. And yeah, maybe maybe you can force Mario to go there as well with you. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, you know, uh, restaurants. I've heard that uh, they are very very uh, 
yeah, exclusive um, restaurants. Yeah, I know, like the French baguette and the cheese and the wine and just it's just oh oh also oh romantic. Yes, thank you, Jarno. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, next, you have Ismail. Ismail, can you hear me? Yes, you know, yes. I am connecting from okay. Turkey, Ankara. Okay. Ooh, don't don't mute Ismail. Arnes, don't mute Ismail. Don't, don't, don't. I'm gonna mute you. I'm gonna mute you, Arnes. Okay, all right. Go ahead, Ismail. Sorry, I think he, he oh. muted. I think he muted you by accident. So go ahead. Oh, okay. I am connecting from Turkey, Ankara. I have never been in Paris. Been I to like Paris. I have never been to Paris. Yes. Mm -hmm. I so like drinking wine, Hina, and uh, I am curious about uh, French wine. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, from what I've heard, that there are really nice vineyards, vineyards yeah. in in France, right? French wine is one of the best wine in the world. Um, and I don't know. I, is this is Chardonnay French, Mario? Chardonnay. Yes. Chardonnay. Yeah. Okay. Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, yeah. You use the Chardonnay for to make the champagne. Oh, champagne, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I heard that Cabernet Sauvignon uh, is a masterpiece of wine. Ooh, is that's very. Really? Is it Mario? Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, yes. Uh, I heard about that wine. Uh, I never tasted, but uh, uh, maybe some uh, great wine. But you have Bordeaux and uh, region Bordeaux make a good wine. Oh yeah, Bordeaux. And uh, Bourgogne, Bourgogne also. So ah. the, the most, uh, the, the 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 both. Uh, region uh, about the wine is Bordeaux and Bourgogne, yes. Yeah, I've heard about like a lot of amazing vineyards in France and people just go there to taste wine. Everybody knows yeah. what wine what wine tasting is? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so people just like, especially people who live in like Europe, they'll just go down for like a weekend and like taste wine and come back and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's great, Ismail. You wanna you wanna go to France and uh, take in the culture. Take in the culture. Do you know what that means? You guys know what that means? Take in the culture is to experience the culture of a country. So you just don't wanna go see all the tourist places. You just don't wanna go to the Eiffel Tower and take a picture. Um, or you just don't wanna go, you know, to the Louvre and just uh, you know watch the Mona Lisa and just like, oh, I took a picture and now I'm done. You want to. Uh, you want to submerge yourself in the culture, yeah. So you want to take in the culture. That means that you want to eat the food, you want to interact with the locals, you want to live as though local people live in France and enjoy all all the great stuff that they enjoy living there. Okay? So immerse, exactly. Jarno said, so to immerse, to submerge yourself in a culture is called to take in the culture. Okay, perfect. Um, you know, uh, I am curious about Lure Museum. And Luke? Yeah. Leonardo's, Leonardo's masterpiece, Mona uh, Lisa. Mona Lisa, yeah. We'll talk more about yes. that uh, once we start class. But thanks so much, Ismail. Uh, next, we have Hamid. Yes, hello, everyone. I'm Hamid from Turkey. I have never been to uh, Paris and Fra uh, France. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know France, uh, French sentence, je t'aime, oh, means I love you. I love you. <laughs> Uh, and I am curious uh, to see Louvre Museum and uh, about Louvre, Louvre. Louvre, Louvre yeah. Museum yeah. and uh, Napoleon Bonaparte uh, things. Napoleon Bonaparte, okay, so the monuments dedicated to him. That's awesome. Thank you, Hamid. Next, we have Imad. Uh, I'm Imad. I'm from Syria. Uh, actually, I have a friend to Paris, and I don't know how to be there or not. Uh, uh, I'll be okay. I'll uh, if I uh, get there, I'll look for uh, the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. and yeah, uh, and this uh, there is a place where uh, a very old museum. I, I can't remember the name, but I read about the very old museum that contains a lot of things about the World War Two and the World War. Yeah, it's okay. like that. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll explore all the places to go see in, in France together, in Paris together, okay? Thanks so much, Ahmad. And yeah, Eiffel Tower, definitely on everyone's list. Thank you. Next, we have David. Hello, I'm David from Spain, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I live very near from France. Mm -hmm. and I... Oh, wait, wait, you live like 10 kilometers from France, right? Yes. Oh, yes, David was in my class yesterday and he told me that and I remember. Okay. <laughs> Good memory. <laughs> so wait, uh, so you live 10 kilometers from the border of France? Yes. That's amazing. Why don't you just like move to France? <laughs> Uh, because I, ha I have exams in Barcelona. Ah, okay. So like after that, we'll think about it. After we will think, but first <laughs> the exams. So, uh, have you been to Paris then? No, but in France, yes. Okay, and what would you like to see in Paris then? Uh, all museums and whatever. Whatever. Whatever I can do to take in the culture. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you, David. Um, and lastly, we have a new student joining us, Arnis. Arnis, were you able to unmute yourself? No? Okay. So, watch my screen. Watch me. Just watch my screen. Okay? I'm going to show you. Um, hopefully, this is the problem and you can fix it. So, this is what you see, right? This is the Google Hangout up here. Can you see my mouse? There's a microphone, this button, okay? This is the microphone button that will mute and unmute you, okay? So you need to have a microphone in order to unmute yourself. Do you have a microphone? No? You don't know? Okay, well, um, unfortunately, if you don't have a microphone, then you won't be able to, to talk to us. You know, you kind of need a microphone for that. Ah. You can um, you can stay if you want, but if you that's okay. Don't be sorry. You can get a new microphone and then join future classes. But I'm just going to say it uh, because this is a speaking class. You won't be able to participate because like we won't be able to hear what you're saying. So if you want to uh, exit the class and let somebody else take the spot, you can still watch the class from the outside. And then I would recommend you get a microphone um, or have the microphone fixed on your laptop, and then then you can come back and talk to us in future classes. Is that okay, Arnes? Yes. Arnes looks sad. Don't look sad. It's okay. Oh. Go, go to shop. <laughs> yeah, go now. Go now to Best Buy or wherever you guys shop in other parts of the world and get a microphone. <laughs> okay, and then come back and join us. It's okay, Arnes. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be okay, and then you can um, you can join next time. All right. But for now, if you want to give the opportunity to somebody else so they can come into class, that would be great. You can still watch this class from the outside. It'll be like exactly the same. Okay. So let's start. Perfect. Uh, welcome everyone. And I am actually serious. I'm going to get Mario to like answer all your questions. If you're like, but Hina, this and that, I'll be like, Mario, just go. Go. Practice your, practice your speaking. Go now. <laughs> All right? Okay. So, um, aside from the Eiffel Tower, what, uh, what, other, what, what are other really popular attractions in, in, in Paris? So, uh, let's just cover a little bit of basic about Paris. Paris is the cosmopolitan capital of France. It's one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world. It's also, it's also pretty multicultural. Um, I mean, there's like a lot of there are like a lot of different people from all over the world who live in Paris, but their population is not that much. It's like what 2.2 or like 2.3 million people, um, and I think it's like 12 million people live in one of the biggest. Uh, they live like around Paris. So for all those who remember Toronto, so Toronto is downtown Toronto, and their population is like 3 million. And then you have all the other cities around Toronto that make up GTA, Greater Toronto Area, and all of that combined is like 12 million people. So same thing with Paris, where it's like almost 14 million people live in all like the suburbs that surround Paris and they commute back and forth. Okay? Um, and what is the weather like in, in Paris? Who would like to, who'd like to talk? Who knows what the weather is like in Paris? 
very cold. I know, I know. Okay. I'm jealous because very, people, very cold. Uh, okay, go people, ahead, people, people mm -hmm. in Paris, they have the best internet in the world. Why is that? <laughs> the best connection. I'm the really. Best, the best oh. connection? Is that true? I don't, I don't know. Sorry, David, what did you say? I think that the best connection is in China. The best connection is in China. I actually mm. want to know. Um, you guys know where CERN is? That's where the internet was developed, right? Isn't that in like Switzerland or something? CERN? So CERN is where the internet was developed. That's where it was born. I would assume that that is where the best internet connection is because, you know, the internet was born there. I, uh, I could be wrong though. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, so apparently it has really good internet connection. And what is Paris known for? Why why is Paris so? Uh, they, what is what is it really famous for? Uh, it's it's famous for it. Sorry, Matt. I think it's famous for it's not uh, it's uh, it's light in the night, or uh, they night said night. it's yeah. uh, night yeah. Night it's like uh, they don't sleep at night. <laughs> uh, they have a name for it. Oh, I, so I actually don't... Fly, so that's kind of nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. What else? Hamid, what were you saying? Eiffel Tower. Okay. It's actually okay. it's actually known as... Yeah, go ahead, Norbert. It's actually known as uh, the City of Romantic. Yeah, City of Romance. Romance. Mm -hmm. So Paris is known as the most romantic city in the world. Okay? City of Love. Yeah, City of Love. Mario, why don't you say some, like, sweet... French love things to us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Paris is a wonderful uh, town. Uh, okay. And uh, the food, the, the, the food is, is really, really uh, great also. Yeah, exactly. And um, the one of the things a lot of people mentioned, French women are beautiful. Um, there was a survey done a couple of years ago, and French women are so beautiful because they have the best diet in the world. So French food, which is heavy in yogurt and cheese, and a French lifestyle is very active. So because mm -hmm. of that, the women are really, really beautiful, and uh, they have the best like physique and the best like they're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's a reason why French women are are so beautiful. Fast um, food and ways. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so there's like there's there's not the culture that we have in North America, which is like oh eat all the burgers from McDonald's or whatever. So um, they're very active and they eat a lot of good food. Um, and uh, I, I think it was Imad who said that it's the, yeah it's called the City of Lights exactly. So it's the City of Lights. So it's lots of lights and, and it is also mm -hmm. rivers. It's a light show. Well, light it's, show. Well, what, you want, okay, Hamid, what were you saying? Uh, fashion of weeks, uh, very famous for parties. Fashion, yeah, fashion week. Fashion week. Fashion week, yeah. It is also the city of uh, the city of fashion. All right, uh, Yarek, what were you saying? I like show. I see. Sorry. Like show. Like light show, yes, light show, yes. And Ismail, what were what were you going to say? Seine River Cruise, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard that mm -hmm. uh, 10 million people uh, are visiting Paris in every year. 10 million uh, people visit Paris every year? Oh, that's, yes. a, that's a lot of people. I, I wouldn't know the stats on that, but I would not be surprised. Paris is one of the most visited cities in the world. What do you think most of those people, what are they going to Paris for? Maybe to buy perfumes and something like that. To buy perfume, that's a good reason. Yeah. What else? If two people, two people go to Paris together, one's a guy, one's a girl. Marriage. They just got married. Where yeah. are they going? They're going for Animal. their honeymoon. Yeah, Animal. they're going. To date. Exactly. To date. To date. So, well, dating, they've already gotten married. So the dating is in the past. So now they're married. And a lot of people go to Paris for their honeymoon. That's a, it's a big... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, can I ask a question for uh, Mario? Uh, yeah. What is <laughs> what is uh, um, 
What is a romantic place in in Paris outside of uh, Eiffel Tower? Oh, romantic place. Uh, you have many places in Paris. So you can. Uh, you you have the big uh, attraction, but you also have small street with, with uh, a lot of uh, restaurants. Uh, you have um, district like uh, Saint Michel Notre Dame. There's a church, a very famous church, and then when you go, you go at the back side, you can uh, walk into the small streets, and then uh, you have a lot of restaurants, so you can. It's very, very pleasant to go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What's the? What's, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, is it a crowd city, or what? What does Paris look like? Is it that? Crowded. Crowded. Is it yeah, a crowded? crowded city? So Mario, is that city, yes, yeah. a lot of people. Yes, uh, uh, during the summertime, is uh, there's a lot of tourists uh, coming from uh, coming in Paris, and uh, uh, you have a place like a very famous place like uh, uh, Saint Michel Notre Dame, uh, Louvre. Uh, all that uh, place are really pleasant to visit. You are muted, Hina. Yeah, sorry. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to read an article from uh, Time Magazine, from the travel section of Time Magazine, and it's 10 things to do in Paris, all right? So I've linked you guys the article so you can see the pictures along with the, along with all the monuments that you can go see, okay? Is everybody able to open that? Yes. Yeah? Okay, yes. so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And we'll all get a little bit of reading under our belts as well. And Mario, I'm serious. Like, if there's any questions, I don't live in Paris. I'm going to get them to ask you, all right? So let's screen share. And if we're saying anything wrong, Mario, like if our accents are all off, please do tell us how, how to pronounce the proper, the proper, proper way, OK? So can everybody see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yes. So Jarno, can I get you to read? The first one, so 10 things to do in Paris. The first one is Arc de Triomphe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I already asked sorry about my pronunciation. Uh, uh, the Arc de Triomphe stands Arc at the Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. Arc, Arc de Triomphe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, so, so you don't say the, so don't say the e at the end. So it's just yes. ended at ph. So arc de triomphe. So no e at the end. Arc de triomphe. Yeah. Perfect. Go ahead. S stands at the center of uh, place the e uh, étoile. L'étoile. L'étoile. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The hub from which uh, twelve grand avenues, including the I I Idyllic. Yeah, idyllic. Idyllic mm -hmm. the pedestrian mall. Mm -hmm. uh, the some Elise. Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Okay, radiate to f form the star <coughs> for for which the place the uh, Letoil Letoil is named. Letoil. Letoil is yeah. named. Mm -hmm. uh, climb to the R. Uh, Arc mm -hmm. <clears throat> panoramic mm -hmm. viewing terrace and gaze down each avenue into the city. It's the best place to admire the tau geometry of Paris urban plan. Paris is okay, so Paris's Paris urban is plan. Yeah. Urban plan. Mm -hmm. And devised by Napoleon III. Yeah, so, so we say this as Napoleon the Third. Napoleon the Third. Mm -hmm. A prefect, a Baron George Eugene Hussman. Eugene Hussman. Mm -hmm. Oh, difficult. Yeah. Who raised? <laughs> who raised? Sorry. Who raised the city's medi medieval slums to lay down broad boulevards? Mm -hmm. Rows of neatly trimmed plain trees line each avenue. 
um, heightening, 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 yeah, heightening the effect. Uh, you can also see the Eiffel Tower in its entire entirety from mm -hmm. here. It's close enough for you to marvel at its construction. Yes, the traffic around the Arc is mayhem, mm -hmm. and it's crawling with tourists. Now don't be deterred. 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 The Arc still thrills. Perfect. Thank Whoa. you so much. Yeah, that was that's that's. <laughs> Sorry awful. about my pronunciation. <laughs> no, no, you were really good. Don't worry about it, Jarno. So the Arc de Triomphe. An arc, this shape, this is an arc, okay? Right, so this, when you, when you, anything that has this, like, uh, oval or semi-oval shape is, is known as an arc, okay? And it stands at the center of Paris and the hub. Hub is like the central part of something. For example, if you have um, a subway system, then you have a hub. So you have a main subway system where all the other subways are coming out of. Um, including the idyllic pedestrian mall. What does that mean? This idyllic. Who's heard that word before? Okay, idyllic. It means beautiful. Okay, it means picturesque. Including the idyllic pedestrian mall, the Champs Elysees, radiate to form the star for which the place, place is named. Climb to the Arc's panoramic viewing terrace. Okay, what is panoramic? One hundred and eighty degree. You, you can watch. You can view something. Yeah, perfect. So uh, panoramic is when you have a very wide image of what you're seeing. Okay, so three hundred sixty degrees. Okay, sorry, smile. What did you say? Bird view. Like a bird view, you know. Bird's view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. That's how you say it. So bird's eye view is when you have a very broad view of what you're looking at. So from the top of the octagon. Can everyone in silence? Sorry? No puedo parar. Okay. Um, Adila? Adila? Yes. Hi. Welcome. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Welcome to the class. Uh, is this your first time on Verbling? Uh, no, uh, it's the first uh, time, uh, but it's the first uh, with uh, uh, you. That's awesome. So welcome to class. We, this is actually a speaking class and we're talking about France. Well, not France, we're talking about Paris, which is in France, okay? So um, I'm just okay. going to... Yeah, so you're more than welcome to jump in and, and talk about uh, if you know whatever you want to talk about, if you have any questions, but uh, I'm just going to ask you to keep yourself muted because I can hear you talking, um, and uh, it's very distracting. All right. So when you want to say something, you can just unmute yourself. But when you're, uh, if you don't, if you're not saying anything, I, it's better if you keep yourself muted. Okay. 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 Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. So panoramic view is bird's eye view. So you, from the terrace of the Arc de Triomphe, you can have a very good panoramic view of the city and gaze down. What does it mean to gaze down? To look. See. Yeah. Look. look. So, Watch. Yeah. So gaze is like gaze is like wow. That's a gaze. Okay. You're not just looking like okay wow. You're not doing that. You're like. Oh, it's so pretty. That's a gaze, okay? So you're having a very good look at everything that you can see. That's a gaze. So from the Arc de Triomphe, you can gaze into the avenue of the city. The best place to admire the taut geometry. So Paris is a very geometrical city. I don't know if you guys know that, but it has very, very a good geometry. It, um, it, looks like, it looks like a subway system when you look at it on a map. Uh, so what does taut geometry mean? It's like tight. It's like uh, everything is like... Uh, yeah, it's not relaxed. Yeah. yeah, so it's very, very good. It's very, it's very packed. So Mario was telling us it's a very uh, crowded city. That's one of the reasons that they can function is because their geometry is so packed. It's not relaxed. Uh, buildings are close to each other. The streets are... There's just enough space for you to drive, all right? 
So it's geomet geometrically, it's, it's very it's very well planned. Okay. Organized. Very organized. Yeah. The taught geometry of Paris's urban plan, uh, which was devised by Napoleon the Third's prefect. So this is somebody who worked with Napoleon the Third, who raised the city's medieval slums. So back in like 1500s, the city had slums. So this is where like uh, people who are poor or you know uh, who are bums basically they live. Uh, so he, this person changed the city from a slum to make broad boulevards, so make big roads. A boulevard is a, a road that's bigger than a street, okay? So rows of neatly, tri neatly trimmed pl plain trees line each avenue, heightening the effect. What does heightening the effect mean? Boost. Yeah, Boost exactly. The Boost the effect. So when you're standing on top of the Arc de Triomphe and you gaze down at the city, the trees make it look like the city is even is is even more beautiful. Okay, so they heighten the effect of what of what an amazing geometry the city of Paris has. Okay, you can also see the Eiffel Tower in its entirety. So when you can see something completely, you say that you can see it in its entirety. So you don't you don't just see the tip of the Eiffel Tower. You just don't see the base. You can see all of the Eiffel Tower from the top to the bottom. So you say that you are seeing it in its entirety. It's close, as it's close enough for you to marvel at its construction. What is marvel? When you marvel at the construction, what does that mean? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, marvel is when uh, you are amazed by something. Okay, so it's like I'm, I'm at the Arc de Triomphe and I'm looking at the Eiffel Tower and I'm like, wow, that's a beautiful tower. Okay. So I'm marveling. I'm I'm so impressed by how beautiful the Eiffel Tower is. So I'm marveling at its beauty. Okay. So, sorry, someone saying something? Okay, no, I think my thing is gone. All right. Uh, the traffic around the Arc is mayhem. What is what is mayhem? What is mayhem? Who can tell me what mayhem means? Is it like very busy? Yeah, mayhem, crazy, yeah. mayhem, chaotic, uh, very busy. Okay, so mayhem means something that is uh, very busy and there's like chaos all around. So it's mayhem and it's crawling with tourists. Crawling with tourists is an expression that we used to say that there are tourists everywhere. Don't be deterred. To deterred, to be deterred is to be turned off. To be turned off. So don't be turned off by how many tourists there are. The arc still thrills. So going to the arc is worth it. So even though it's um, it's it's really busy and it's really chaotic, the arc is beautiful and it's worth seeing. Okay, doesn't it, that does look beautiful, doesn't it? Check it. Yeah. That's actually really pretty. Awesome. Any questions before we move on? Um, is in uh, New York City uh, similar? Is New York City similar arc? There yes. is, there's, there's a square, Times Square. No, no, no. I have no? seen a movie uh, called uh, The Legend. Okay. And there were a similar um, building like that. A similar building. Um. Ah. Uh, it's possible, but I, I, I don't want to lie. I don't, I don't know about okay. about it. I don't want to like mislead you and give you wrong information. It's possible though. Can you guys hear that echo? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear it now? Okay. So, Wedgie, sorry. I think you had your microphone on and it's, uh, it was, we, we could hear an echo. So, please keep yourself muted. Okay? All right. So, Arc de Triomphe. Who would like to see this now after learning about it? How many is like, yes, I want to go here? Yes, I want to go. Yeah. It's, it looks really pretty to me as well. Okay. Le fumoir. How do you say that, Mario? Le fumoir? Yes, uh, it's okay. Le fumoir. Yeah? So what is le fumoir? Uh, Mario, why don't you tell us in your own words? Fumoir. Uh, I don't think that uh, still exists uh, today. Okay. But what was it? Uh, this is the place where people uh, go to just uh, smoke. smoke oh! Cigarette. 
Oh, okay. Well, we don't want to learn about smoking, so let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so Mario's like, it doesn't exist anymore. I'm like, okay, well then, let's move on to the next one. Okay. What is what is this, uh, Mario? How do you say this? Oh, this is a museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I didn't go there again. <laughs> the low orangey. Hmm? The low orangey. The low orangey. Okay, perfect. So. Mario, I need you to read this. Can you read number three for us? So you can actually read it on your own screen. So here's, I've, I've sent you the link, and we are on yes. the third one. Okay, so the link is right there. And if you just use this button here to go next back, we are on okay. the third one. Yeah, so can I get you to read uh, that one? Yeah. Number three. Okay. Um, Musée de l'Orangerie. As much as it delights first timers, the orangerie is ripe, right. Right? right for repeat visits. The gallery's appeal lies in part in the pleasing sense of scale. It doesn't crowd too much together, but gives the works on offers their due. That offering include Claude Monet uh, masterworks. The Nymphias Water yeah. Lily, painted mm -hmm. in Archie's Garden at uh, Giverny and donated to the French state. Monet stipulated that the monumental panels be displayed precisely as they are seen today in twin oval rooms that surround enraptured viewers with its vision. Yeah. The, gallery, the gallery also houses in its specially built subterranean mm -hmm. section the superb Walter Guillaume collection of post-impressionist work keep an eye out of Modigliani portrayal of the Fedora topped Collector of Paul Guillaume as Modern Hearts Nova Pilota. New Helm Helmsman. 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 <laughs> Afterward, let impressions settle with the work through the trees, garden, mm -hmm. or feed the pigeons from the perch on the promenade. Perfect. Thank you so much. So who said that they wanted to look at all the museums? David. David said he wanted to see. Yeah? Yeah. I also said that. Yeah. So you guys wanted to see museums? So this is a museum. And does everybody know Monet? So the, the painter yeah. Monet. He is one of the most yeah. famous painters in the world. Like He's dead now, but the paintings that he painted were they're beautiful. And um, so this museum hosts one of his most beautiful paintings. It's called Water Lilies. This is the painting that you see in the picture. Okay. So I don't want to go into too much detail about what we read in the paragraph because it's basically talking about his painting and how he made it. So it's very technical language. I myself don't know a lot of the words. Uh, but basically it's saying that as much as it first as it delights first timers, the orangey is right for repeat visits. Delights means to make happy. Okay. So apparently people who go to, to this museum, they're very happy and they like coming back again. So this is not a museum that you go to one time and then you're like, I don't want to visit it again. So ripe is meaning it's fresh for repeat visits. So people want to come back again. Okay. And Monet, when he painted this painting, Water Lilies, he wanted it to be displayed in an oval room like this. And this museum does exactly that. So it's a museum worth seeing because it houses Monet's original painting um, in its original format, the way he had intended it to be. Okay, And I, I actually have always wanted to see this painting. I'm not a fan of art, but this painting particularly, I love it. I have a poster of it in my room back in Canada. But that's a poster, it's not the real painting. So I would love to go see this um, painting in, in the museum. Okay? Have you, have you been here, uh, Mario? 
No, no. No? Okay. All right. So this is one of the other museums aside from the Louvre. So this is something no. we're seeing as well. Any questions? Like I said, this the, the information is very, very technical about how uh, you know he painted it and how he got the museum to post it. Um, I so have I just one word. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What does mean uh, stipulated? Oh, stipulated. Okay. Monet stipulated that the monumental panels be displayed precise, precisely as they are seen today. Okay. So, who so he wanted it. Yeah. So he, it's kind of like ordering, but not really. He stated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he okay. stipulated, he demanded a specific requirement. So he's like, I have made this painting, and I am telling you guys that you have to display it in an oval room so that all three of the panels, so panels are sections. This is mm -hmm. section one, section two, section three. So stipulated is sort of demanding and uh, uh, demanding the requirements. So the requirement of the painting is that it be in an oval room in three panels. Okay? All right. Perfect. Any other questions before we move on? Uh, museum uh, means in English, uh, museum uh, orange. Yeah, Museum of the Orangi. This is basically means Museum of the Orangeri. I don't know what that is. The Orangeri. So let's see. So picture. So it's basically the name of the museum. So Musi, Musi is the same as museum. Okay. That's just the name of the museum. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Shakespeare and Company Bookshop. Okay, we can read. We can read this later. Let's look at some other like big monuments that we have. Institut du Monde Arab. Ooh, an an Arab institute. I had no idea. That's pretty cool. Let's see. I actually want to read about uh, the Louvre. So you guys have this link with you if you're interested in reading. Ooh, somebody mentioned this. Paris after dark. Imad, can I get you to read the first paragraph of Paris after dark? Yeah. Okay. Uh, an estimated four to seven million. No, 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 Number seven. You need to move on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're we're on Paris after dark. So number yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm, Paris after dark. Okay. Cap. Is that correct? Cap. A visit. Yeah. Yeah. To the, mm. yeah. There's a pumpy doll. Uh, with a twilight, twilight season, twilight, twilight se season, twilight session, session, uh, twilight session, mm -hmm. twilight session, at its uh, rooftop bar and restaurant. Uh, George's, uh, oh, if you are equipped uh, to pay for the privilege, uh, uh, the sweeping. Uh, of a view with a cha uh, champagne. Champ champagne. 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 Oh, so the it's same like, word, champagne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But it starts from uh, 7 euros. Uh, and duck free grass, mm -hmm. uh, 25 euros to, sufficient, to sufficiently feed two. Uh, two lofty. Uh, two uh, then try uh, the nearby restaurant, uh, Derrier. Derrier, yeah. yeah. Derrier, an electric, uh, electrical, electrical mm -hmm. uh, decorated, yeah, decorated lounge. Uh, long, yeah. Lounge, lounge, lounge. With lounge. Lounge. Mm -hmm. lounge. With a big pong table and a uh, concealed. 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 concealed smoking, oh, concealed smoking room, uh, and the uh, fridge, fridge, fringe. Fringe. fringe, yeah, fringe, fringe. of the Maris. yeah, uh, tuck it inside uh, a one grand villa, uh, behind cut uh, cocktail bar and uh, Andy Waddle and uh, Moroccan restaurant the. Uh, 4.4, uh, 404, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the rear was opened in 2008 uh, by the same team that created the over two establishments 
uh, a common outdoor uh, court courtyard and cookie 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 sense of uh, cool until unite uh, unite unite Unite. This word is unite. unite. Yeah. Unite. Mm -hmm. The three uh, venture, ventures. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ahmad. So, for all the people who wanted to go visit Paris for the food, this is where you need to go for all the food. So they've named quite a few restaurants. There's a Moroccan restaurant. There are French restaurants, and um, so this is apparently where you go in the evening to get away and have a nice dinner for two. Mario, have you been to so this section of the city? What is it called? Pom Pompidou? Yes, Pompidou. Yes, uh, just uh, pass uh, here uh, around just like this, but never go to the restaurant things. Like it's very, very expensive. It's very expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, and you can uh, see, and you can see like champagne bottle from seventy euros, and yeah, yes, very, yeah. very expensive. I think it's because the tourists, tourists. Yeah, exactly. So when tourists go somewhere, they want to go somewhere. So all the restaurants did jack up prices. Okay. So jack up prices means to bump up the prices because they know the tourists are going to visit and they can charge them whatever they want. So it's like, oh, you're here in Paris for your honeymoon and you want to have a nice dinner for two. Okay, two hundred euros, and you know tourists will pay because they're they're there to see everything and they want to experience the city. Okay. So a lot of these restaurants, they jack up the prices because they know that the tourists will pay those prices. Okay? So quite a lot of words in this one paragraph. Aside from the French words, what, what words do you guys want to wanna know? It's all Greek to me. It's all Greek to you? Okay, yeah. So <laughs> cap a visit. Cap a visit means that you have to go, you, like you end your trip to cap. Okay, to cap means to end. So so cap a visit to the Pompidou. So end your visit to Paris by going to the Pompidou with a twilight session at its rooftop bar and restaurant. So rooftop. Uh, a, a restaurant that is on top of a roof. It's outdoors. And session. A session is like um, a, like an event. For example, in Burbling, we have one hour sessions. We have one hour classes. Okay. So a session is like an event. So you go for a twilight session. Okay, twilight means at at, the, at dark when it's like um, Mario. Why is Paris so expensive? Mario, somebody's asking you why is Paris so expensive? <laughs> why so expensive? Because it's Paris. But uh, when you go outside, uh, you, you get further. You, you just go outside Paris. Things yeah. uh, back to normal. But it's very, very expensive to go out in Paris. Okay. Really yeah, and that's true for any big metropolitan city. Um, yes. Yeah. So I mean, go anywhere. New York City, Toronto, uh, downtown is more expensive than anywhere else. The suburbs are not that expensive. So that's true for any any city. Jarno yeah. is saying Europe is expensive. I've heard that too. You know, like plus the euro is so strong. Like one euro is more than was is like a dollar thirty or something. London, especially traffic. Yeah, so this is the thing about metropolitan cities. They usually end up being expensive and crowded. Okay. Uh, how can Parisians afford these prices? I don't think that uh, so people who live in Paris they they usually don't go to the touristy places, do they Mario? No, no. 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 And so when we go to Paris, we go uh, some place uh, um, with more um, less local people. Place. Yes, local. Yeah, exactly. A local no. place with local prices. So, but you, you don't have to to go to the uh, to, um, to the place that uh, uh, where uh, tourists can be trapped. Uh, you you can. Uh, I, I recommend the the. the the district around a, uh, a famous church called uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Is, yes, yeah. if you Not go good. there, it's very nice because there you have a lot of. If you go uh, 
um, the back side, I, mm -hmm. I, I'll say, you mm -hmm. have a little um, a street. We call that uh, Ruelle in Paris. Ruelle. Okay. I don't know if it's, we can say that in English also. Uh, and then you have a lot of restaurant and uh, the, the smell of the city, people, I mean, this mm -hmm. is very nice. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and not like, the, like the, the, the photo. Uh, on the, the Maria? Photo. Yes. Mar Mariah? Okay, yeah. Mar yes. yeah. So this is, this is more for the locals? No, for everyone, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, yeah. But uh, you, you know, the, the tourists, when, when they come, you, they go to the big place. Uh, if mm -hmm. a tower, a big restaurant, in, but you have so many places to, yeah. to see. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And Notre Dame, uh, what uh, Mario mentioned, Notre Dame is a very, very famous cathedral, cathedral in uh, cathedral, France. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's a cathedral. So a really big church is called yeah. a cathedral. And it is so famous that there is a replica of it in, in Montreal, replica in Montreal. Okay, what's a replica, guys? I told you guys this word last week. What is a replica? A copy. A copy, exactly. So in Canada, in Montreal, we have a replica of Notre Dame Cathedral. That's how popular it is. It's not as big as the actual Notre Dame in uh, in Paris, but it's really, really big. And it's, uh, I mean, that's how popular this church is that, uh, that Mario is talking about. Okay, that... There are replicas of it all around the world. Okay, so we actually don't have time to finish reading the paragraph, but that's a, that's a really good article if you want to learn more about what there is to do to do in Paris. Are there any questions that we have for um, for Mario or me? <laughs> so Mario, in your opinion, what is the best thing to see in Paris? Like your opinion, you're like this is people don't know about this, but this is the best thing to do in Paris. The best thing to to see in Paris, I think the Champs Elysees is a very good um, a good um, place to see. Uh, the Arc de, Arc de Triomphe also, uh, mm -hmm. it's just uh, near. Uh, when you are in Champs Elysees, you can see the Arc de Triomphe. Mm -hmm. um, then you have Saint Michel. This is the uh, district. Uh, you can see visit the uh, Notre Dame de Paris. Okay, can you just write? Can you just write down Champs Elysees? Because a couple of people are asking, how do you say that? Okay. Well, okay. Please. So Mario is going to write that. So coming from a Parisian, he says that Champs Elysees is and yeah. Saint Michel. Saint Michel. Saint Michel. Uh, Saint Michel, you can uh, see the Notre Dame de Paris. Perfect. So there, yes. coming from a Parisian, these are the two places you have to check out when you go to Paris. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, the Eiffel Tower is also nice, but if you want to go up, it's really difficult because there's many people who want to go there, and that you have to wait in line, and it's, it's very. <laughs> it's busy. So it's basically it's busy. busy and it's crowded, and it's basically a tourist. It's a tourist attraction, yeah. but these are places where you can go. Hopefully, it won't be crowded. Okay. Uh, also, you have also the um, uh, the boat. Uh, we we call that in France uh, bateau mouche. It's a boat fly. Oh, and actually, yes. uh, Adela wrote that for us, and she wrote it in Google Chat, though. So I'm going to write that for you guys here. Bateau mouche. So that's awesome. There so we you go. can you can have dinner on the scene. Uh, uh, in Paris, so it's very beautiful. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I would say the best time to visit Paris is in the summer or in the spring. So like, in perfect. right? Perfect. I would say the best time to visit Paris oh, is it's in my the summer or in the spring. Mario, so what would be the best time to visit Paris? Like, uh, uh, I think uh, every 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 time it's okay because uh, uh, it's it's beautiful to see at night and day and. Uh, the, the temperature is not important. So. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mario, for indulging us and answering our questions. It's really nice. To, it was really nice to have you join us. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to say, all the students who are new, uh, welcome. There are a couple of students. So, Adila, sorry we didn't get an opportunity to speak with you, but next no time, <laughs> next time would be awesome. Uh, I'm just going to like give my Facebook so you guys can recommend which city you want to cover next week. 
So we do this class every week where we talk about a metropolitan city. And you guys can let me know which city you'd want to cover next week. Hopefully, we'll have a person who lives in that city in class as well with us. Okay? So thanks, okay. everyone. It was really, really okay, fun to be with you guys. Yeah. Yes. And I'll see you guys. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.